Hello and welcome. I'm Ashley and I am so excited to be sharing with you today this very classic holiday makeup look. I would like to say a special thank you to Skin Store for sponsoring today's video. I've spoken about Skin Store before on my channel. I often go there to purchase some of my favorite skincare items because they generally have really great promotions and gift sets, so I love going there for skincare. But turns out they also have a lot of really awesome makeup. Several of the brands they carry are actually brands that I've had on my wish list to try. So I'm very excited to be partnering with them to bring you this beautiful holiday look today. All of the products that I'm featuring in today's video can be purchased at skinstore.com. And they were also kind enough to give me a code to give you guys for 25% off. So if you use the code Ashley25, you will get 25% off any of the makeup products that I feature in this video today. I make nothing off of that code. It's just a way for you guys to be able to get a nice discount if you're interested in any of the makeup. So the look I was going for today was really inspired by the cheeks that you see. That is like, to me, that is the star of this. I'm absolutely in love with this cheek. I love a nice, good, like, flushed, healthy cheek. I feel like it just looks so flattering. And if you're someone who's as fair as I am, let me tell you what, you need you need a good cheek, you know, because that's the color that gets brought to your face. And I think that so often in the winter, that's like what I think of. When I think of like winter and holiday, I love just like that natural flush that is everything to me. My dear friend Kate calls it the alpine cheek or the aspen cheek. I absolutely love that. It's very like ski lodge inspired. I don't ski. I actually grew up in the mountains of North Carolina and I was within 30 minutes of at least three ski resorts my entire life. Still cannot ski to save my life. I love to sit my happy butt down in the ski lodge, have me a nice adult beverage and a charcuterie plate. That is like my vibe. So that beautiful cheek flush that you bring with you when you come inside from the cold was absolutely the inspiration for today's holiday look. I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out and I hope that you're gonna enjoy it. Let's get into the makeup. So because I want a very lit from within kind of glow, pretty much always, but especially for this look and for holiday, I really like to feel like some warmth coming from the face. And this is a very like fresh face look I'm going for today. So because of that, I want to use an illuminating primer. I'm gonna be using the Rodeal Instant Glow Primer. This is such a beautiful primer. It gives you this nice kind of like, they call it apricot. To me, it's almost like a, like a champagne, like a peachy champagne kind of glow that it gives to the skin. I have found that this primer looks really beautiful under all of my satin finish foundations. So I absolutely love this for just adding a little bit extra glow to a satin foundation. A fun fact about this primer, I find that it smells like a little bit like root beer. There's like a hint of something in there that smells a little bit like root beer to me. I actually really like it. I have been really enjoying foundations that kind of give like a soft finish, like almost just like a very natural skin finish. That's what I've really been gravitating towards for the past couple months. This foundation is one of my favorites for that. It is the Etherealist Skin Illuminating Foundation from Kevin Aquan. I use the shade Light E. F03. This foundation is just a really good, what I call a Goldilocks foundation, like a Goldilocks product. One of those products that's, you know, it's not too this, it's not too that. It's not too dewy, it's not too matte. It's just a perfect soft satin. It's not too light a coverage. It's not something that feels too full or cakey for me. It feels very like middle of the road, natural, soft skin finish. I really appreciate those kind of products because I feel like they're just like great go-to classics. I dot a little bit all over the face and then I buff it in with a foundation brush. You can still see my freckles. My skin still shows through, but I was able to like build it up in the areas where I wanted a little more coverage. And there's still this really nice glow like coming from within from the Rodeal Primer. So I love this base. I'm gonna prop my lids with a little bit of concealer. The concealer I'm using today is actually not only a concealer, it can also be used as a foundation. It can be used in so many ways. I think it's one of the most versatile products there is. It is the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan. I have the shade SX02, and I'm just gonna put this tiny, tiniest little bit on my eyes. I mean, it's like, those are literal pinprick amounts because that is all you need with this and I'm gonna blend it out. This is gonna be my eyeshadow base. For my eyes, I'm going to be using the Emphasize Eye Design Palette in Unblinking. This is from Kevin Aquan. 
five shadows, you get three matte, two shimmer. So the real like showstopper here is this. This is a cream foil eyeshadow. This thing blends down so beautifully. It's just like a gorgeous foil that actually dries down on the lid. It's so nice to have one that's not like really messy. I have tried and tried so many foil shadows that come like this with like the little doe foot applicator and I have... I have rarely found ones that like actually dry down and don't make a mess. This is one of those. So I am so excited to show you this. I'm first going to take the shade Lace and I'm going to lay this down all over my lid from lash line all the way up to brow bone as just like a nice base. If you're someone who's as light as me, you can use this color this way. If you're not, it's not going to work that way. But for me, these shadows are always so helpful because I don't have to use a translucent powder. I can just go right in and have a nice base powder to blend all the other shadows on top of. We're next gonna go in with Nude. It is the second shade over. I'm taking just a big fluffy brush. I'm gonna take the same fluffy brush I used before on the first step and I'm just gonna put this all above my crease. I wanna quickly mention how I usually do my transition shades like this just for future reference because honestly, I do this the same way almost every time. I basically take my chin, stick it out, and lean my forehead back so that I can see like where my orbital bone is. And I try to go right along that. So I, when I do that, I keep it off of the lid, which I don't generally like my transition shade to get on my lid because I have small features. So having this small eyelid space, I wanna keep it open, especially and it'll look like today where I'm gonna be using that gorgeous foil shadow, I really wanna keep the lid space available for that. So by lifting my chin and leaning my head back and kind of going in like this, right where I can, basically right where I'll be able to feel that, feel that bone, the orbital bone, by doing that and concentrating the product that way, almost in like an angled up motion with my brush, I'm able to keep the shade exactly where I want it. That keeps my eyes open and it keeps my lid space available to put pretty shimmery shadows on like I'm gonna do today. Next up, I'm gonna take a more tapered blending brush and I'm gonna pick up this darkest shade. This is Espresso right here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use it in the outer corner of my eye, like the outer V. So with the tapered blending brush, I lay the shadow down exactly where I want it in that outer V, and then I go in and blend it out, smoke it out using the first brush that I used. I don't put any product on it. It's just basically clean at this point. I then use that to blend it out, smoke it out a little bit, and I end up with this really nice, hazy outer V look that I really love. These shadows in this palette are really blendable. I really love blendable, buildable shadows. I like shadows that you have, like you build them up because I find those to be very forgiving and that's what I really like in shadows. I like shadows that I can blend them up, smoke them out, and they're very forgiving and buildable. I like that kind of shadow. I feel like you just get this nice, like really soft. See how we have this like soft, smoky outer V now? I absolutely love that and I find that like this kind of shadow formula that's more buildable makes that easier for me to achieve. Using a flat shader brush, I'm gonna pick up the shade Gilded, this nice gold like shimmery color in the middle. I'm gonna pick that up. I'm not even wetting my brush because I am gonna go over this with the foil shadow, but I'm gonna basically put this everywhere that we don't have shadow right now. So right through here. So I do wanna do my under eye concealer before I smoke out my lower lash line and then put on that foil shadow. So again, I'm using the Sensual Skin Enhancer from Kevin Aquan, which as I was saying earlier, this is such a versatile product. It's literally like one of the most pigmented products I think ever made. You can use it for so many things, but a tiny, tiny bit goes a long, long way. If you're someone like me who has dry under eyes, this is a beautiful, beautiful under eye concealer but you have to be certain that you're going very light with it because a little, like an inch goes a mile. I don't know what the, I don't know an expression for that, but it really does. So you'll see, I barely picked up just the tiniest little bit on my fingers, just the tiniest little bit. And I'm not even gonna use all of that. I just kind of like put these barely there baby dots of product under my eyes. I like to do one, at a, one eye at a time because I don't want this to dry down too much. So I don't wanna do this eye as well. 
I do just one eye at a time. I blend it out with a concealer brush first to get like the shape I want. And you'll see already, it's like so pigmented. <laughs> you'll see how far this goes. So I love me a nice inverted isosceles triangle. I am who I am. So I basically get that shape first. I just pat to spread the product. You don't have to fight too hard to get this product to spread. It wants to spread, it's lovely. And then once it's in shape, I take a damp sponge. You can use any sponge you have that you like. And I then go over it just to melt it in to the makeup. And it honestly, it gives you just a beautiful, beautiful finish. And again, it's so freaking pigmented. So this tiny bit will give you just literally, it's full coverage. It gives you full coverage. And I love that. I normally go for like more medium coverage under eyes, but today I want to be very like, very fresh under the eyes because we are going with such like a like ready, fresh, like I've been outside cheek that if I don't get my under eye very, clean and bright i feel like i will look tired you know what i mean i just i feel like when you do like a very ruddy cheek like the technique we're going to be using for the cheeks is very like flush and it goes all the way across when you do that for me if i don't have my under eye very bright i end up just looking like <laughs> i don't know i look like, so, like i have a fever or something <laughs> so i really want to make sure that my under eye is nice and bright and this product is so good for that. I'm gonna take a smudge brush and go in with the shade Nude, and I'm gonna smudge that all along the lower lash line. I wanna have a little bit of a smoke going on, but I'm using this lighter shade rather than the darker one because I still wanna keep it a little lighter under there just because we're really making like, we want the gold that we're gonna put here in the cheek to be like the star of the show. So now for the cream foil shadow. The shade is called 24 karat gold. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna tap. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this right over where we did the gold and I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corner. And I then go in with a flat shader brush just to tap it in and make sure that it is set there and blended in. You can use your finger, but I am like the clunkiest person ever with my fingers, so I don't use my fingers for this step. And I find that a flat shader brush looks lovely. It blends in beautifully and it sets down. And I find that it takes, I just leave my eye kind of like closed for I would say like maybe 30 seconds and it's set, it doesn't budge after that. I do generally go in and press the inner corner with my finger just because I don't like too bright of an inner corner so I just like to soften that up a little bit and once I press that in I get like the exact finish I want and I feel like oh my gosh look at that it's just ooh, foil absolutely love it I'll go back in with the same blending brush I was using for all the other steps and I'll just blend back through the crease just to clean everything up and you can see as I'm blending back through this, it's not like I have, I don't have cream shadow moving all over the place or anything like that. This really sets down very well and it stays in place. I threw on a little bit of lower lash mascara and the eyes are now done. I just love like that gold foil. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. It's so beautiful. And I love that it like lays down and stays like a foil. I absolutely love that. Now we're gonna move on to like, oh my God, I'm so excited about this part, the cheeks. So I have been dying to try the Daniel Sandler watercolor paints, like watercolor liquid cheek colors. I have been wanting to try them for so long. I had no idea that skin stores carried them or I probably would have already purchased some, but I just didn't know. And now I'm like so excited. I want so many more of these. So I decided to get the shade Divine and this is a nice like berry flush. When I saw this, I thought, wow, this looks holiday. And I was right, it is very holiday. It is so, oh my God, it's so beautiful. And you literally need like one drop to do all of your cheeks, <laughs> all of your cheeks, both of your cheeks. You literally need just like one drop. It goes so far and the color. Again, it's just gorgeous. So I'm using the Daniel Sandler water brush to do this. And I pick up just, again, a little bit goes such a long way. So I literally just tap this in. Do you see how pigmented this cheek color is? It's nuts. All right, this is like, oh my God, 
I'm so excited. So you, a little bit goes a long way again. So I kind of like, just tap, 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 tap. Just the littlest, tiniest bit. That's how I like to like apply it on. And then I'm gonna go in and I then go in and buff it in with a foundation brush. This is just the most beautiful like, I've been out in the snow flush color for me. If you're around my skin tone and you want something that just looks like, just like that beautiful winter berry, this is such a good shade for that. It is so beautiful. Now I'm taking it up like this along my cheeks. I'm basically for this look, because we're going like ski resort, I want like my natural flush. So my natural flush would follow along my cheekbones like up into my hairline. I blushed a lot as a kid, so I, I know a lot about blushing. I am, yeah, I'm somebody that gets embarrassed quite easily. <laughs> I don't know why, I'm getting better about it as I get older, but I usually get embarrassed quite easily. So a flush is nothing new to me. Also, I'm so fair that if I go outside and there's even a little chill in the air or just a breeze, I'm like, flush. <laughs> So I'll buff this in like that. And then here's why I love the water brush, the brush that like goes with these watercolors is because I've got a little bit on there. I'm gonna actually get as much excess off as I can. This holds the product so that you can continue to like build it up. So like this cheek is a little bit more than this. So I'm gonna just tap a little bit more on there. Do you see how like controlled that is? Like we just got the tiniest bit on there. So this brush is actually, it works so well, which I mean, I guess makes sense because it's the brush that Daniel made to go with his watercolor, cheap color, so I guess it makes sense. So once I feel like I have that built up the way that I want it, I'm gonna take the brush and I'm going to take it over my nose. So we're doing like a W. Like just the smallest amount, that's all you need, which again is why the brush comes in handy because it holds the product so well that you can then go in and kind of add a little bit of extra just like tiny hint of color where you want it. This blush, again, just such a good natural, like berry flush. This feels so, so naturally beautiful to me. I feel like I just look like a little bit like sunburnt, windburnt, snowburnt almost, you know? <laughs> like that like just natural flush you get when it's cold outside. And that's exactly what I wanted. And I love that this color just works so perfectly for this. And so does the formula because you can just blend it so well into the skin. It just buffs in just beautifully. Also, I wanna point out this top. I feel like I'm all like snowy and cuddly. This top is actually called the snow bunny top. So it's like all kind of goes together. I'm kind of, kind of a little bit in love with this already. Oh my gosh. We have a nice glow going on. You can see that Rodeo, the primer is still like, we still have the glow from that under it. And because we used the watercolor cheek, we still, we didn't like matte anything down really, but I still want a little bit extra glow. So I'm gonna go in with the Rodeo Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Highlighting Powder. This is in shade two. This had such good reviews and I can tell why. I'm just gonna put it along the high points of my cheeks. I'm also gonna get like my T-zone almost, like along my nose, like down my nose, my Cupid's bow. All right, for lips, we're gonna go with this beautiful red wine shade from Kevin Aquan. This is the Unforgettable Lipstick in the shade Blood Roses. It's a cream formula. This is like the signature Kevin Aquan lip shade. This is the one that like is just super popular with everyone. And there's a good reason. It's just a gorgeous, flattering red wine. I like to just tap this into my lips because I want just like a nice natural lip flush. This is great for this. All you need to do is just tap it into the lip, don't go too far, and then you pat it in with your finger, kind of blend it out, and you can build it up as much as you want to or as little as you want to. So like you could leave it here. I want it to be deeper. And I'll show you a swatch of this. You can see just like how far up it could be like that could be really, really built up if you wanted it that deep. I want it a little more like soft and natural just because I'm going for like a very like snow bunny natural glam here. So I want something that feels just like, oh, my lips are just naturally like extremely red, <laughs> like a Disney princess. 
So this is the finished look. The lip honestly pulls everything together for me. It reminds me a little bit of Emmy Lou Harris, Roses in the Snow. I always have that image. And for me, like red roses, I don't know why they really remind me of winter. I love red roses in winter. And I love that this lip is so creamy that you can really blend it out and pat it in with your finger and you get a very like lived in natural kind of like berry red lip going on. It's not like a painted on red lip. This is much more like natural effortless, like natural beauty. And I love looks like that. It's, I'm just obsessed with this. I feel it looks to me like that holiday look where you know that girl that we all aspire to be that just walks into a room and she's just naturally so radiant and beautiful. Like that's the kind of holiday look I wanted. I wanted to just look like, oh, I've been outside and I'm just naturally so flushed and radiant and I've come inside and I need to sit by the fire now. Like that's what this feels like to me. I absolutely love it. I feel so like naturally glam. I feel like old school kind of like just beautiful, right? I love it. I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm ready to go skiing, but not really. I'm ready to go sit in the lodge and have a hot toddy. I thank you so much for spending a little bit of time with me. As mentioned in the beginning of this video, all the products I use today, you can find on skinstore.com. And if you use my code Ashley25, you can get 25% off all of the products that I used today. I make nothing off of that code. It's just a way for you to be able to save some money if you're interested in any of these products. If you have any questions at all about today's look or any of the products that I used, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer. I love reading and responding to y'all's comments, so you can always catch me down there. I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, you take care of yourself. Bye.